So I'm Nate uh, Whitley. I'm back here with a rabbit from Hen and Hair Micro Farms. And we are going to look at how you cut this into its usable portions. Uh, there's not a ton of meat on this rabbit. As you can see, the whole thing is about three pounds. Uh, the edible, the main edible portions are going to be the front legs, the hind legs, and then this saddle in the center where the loin is located. And then a little bit of flat meat up here in the ribs, which you could turn into a skewer or you could grind it with some other meat to make a little rabbit sausage if you're so inclined. Uh, so first, I'm just going to come up here, cut down to the spine at the end at the end of the loin, right below this hip. Repeat the thing on, on the other side. And you more or less just break that off, separate it this way, and you have your two hind legs. Really nice and meaty, probably great to braise, do a slow cook, it can be a little tough. Sometimes when you're cooking, adding a little bacon for the fat can help when you're uh, braising rabbit. All right, and we're going to come back here, and we're just going to cut these front legs off. And they detach real easy from the breast. So these, I would, again, I would slow cook these first. And let them cool, and then flash fry them, and I would look at that as almost like a chicken wing or a rabbit wing, if you will. So then you have your front legs here. And then for the saddle, we're just going to go to the end of the rib cage. I'm going to cut down here. Same, and then we'll just make one big cut right through the backbone. Set this aside for now. And then you have your lamb saddle. These two loins are nice and meaty. Uh, this would be a cut that you would, could remove the center bone and keep these flaps and then do a stuffed rabbit saddle. Remove the rabbit tenderloins. So then this would be your boneless rabbit saddle, which you could then maybe make a force meat or grind some of the trim or grind some pork sausage and maybe mix it with mushrooms or herbs or whatever, whatever and just kind of roll the whole thing up and truss it. And then you could roast that real quick in the oven and have a nice stuffed rabbit saddle. And that's about it. You have this. There's a little bit of meat to be taken off the bone, maybe used in a skewer or ground, but their most useful portions are your hind legs, forelegs, and saddle. That's about it.